If you can't stop them, lead them. The advice from President Vladimir Putin to his cultural advisors on what to do about rap music, a genre that's grown increasingly popular with young Russians. The rap and other modern music is based on the three pillars, sex, drugs and protest. Well, the biggest concern amongst all this is drugs. It's an obvious thing. This is a path to the degradation of the nation. Putin's comments follow a spate of concert cancellations and artist arrests. Last month, Dmitry Kuznetsov, also known as Husky, climbed onto a car and provided an impromptu performance after authorities cancelled one of his shows, alleging his music had elements of extremism. The 25-year-old, known for his lyrics about poverty, corruption and police brutality, was then arrested. And his is not an isolated case. A week later, it was the turn of rapper Gone Flood. Citing pressure from the police, he said he was forced to cancel two concerts. The number of similar incidents is rising, and the crackdown seems to extend beyond rap to other popular musical genres. While the government has voiced concerns about offensive lyrics, including references to drugs, some people believe there are other reasons why artists are being targeted. They sing and rap about things that influence people's thoughts about the government. So Putin's idea shows what authorities are worried about. What if rap musicians speak the truth? Whatever the reason, Vladimir Putin seems to recognize that in the age of YouTube and the Internet, music videos will continue to attract millions of viewers. At the meeting in St. Petersburg, he cautioned his advisors that attempts to ban artists from performing could instead boost their popularity. Joan da Silva, Al Jazeera.